guys. So, I am going to make pumpkin butter, which I don't know why I didn't think to do this before. But I wanted to share a story of what happened yesterday. <laughs> So I went to make a smoothie yesterday and when I went to go make this smoothie, um, my blender, which is this lovely contraption right here, it is in a cupboard that's by our trash can, which is fine, whatever. Um, but when I went to go and get it, um, I opened up the cupboard completely and I've like peeked into this cupboard before <laughs> sorry you fell but like I haven't like opened it completely and back in the dark corner where I could not see lo and behold was a gnat's nest and that's literally all I'm gonna say about that because it was probably the grossest thing I've ever had to clean up and the reason it was there was because there was a bag of rotted potatoes that apparently had been there for months in the corner. And literally, that's all I'm going to say about that. Let your imagination run free. But that's pretty much what I had to do yesterday is clean up the entire cupboard and all its containments. And yeah, let's end the gross story time and go on to making pumpkin. Okay, first we're going to make pumpkin bread. Not pumpkin bread, pumpkin butter. And I've got this little jar. This is just a pizza sauce jar that I've emptied out because I collect literally everything. Okay, and what we're gonna do is it calls for one stick of butter. We're gonna use a half a cup of butter. Um, that's what it says. And then pumpkin puree, which I oh, will need to open this sucker up put you in a container okay and oh, I just remembered that I left my container <laughs> of my lunch in the uh, my lunch box it's been sitting there for four days that's disgusting I also need honey which we used to have but aha aha honey pumpkin pie spice, which surprisingly I haven't used in weeks, and then vanilla. Um, we're going to use vanilla extract because I don't actually have vanilla, so that's what we're going to do. Yesterday, I was also able to use um, 
my new Mickey muffin bin and I made some pumpkin Mickey muffins. They're so freaking cute. They're for work so I'm not going to eat them right now but I covered them in pink sugar. It is so incredibly nice outside. Jared and I just came back from the grocery store and it feels lovely. It is so nice and windy and breezy. It's gotta be like 75, 77 degrees outside with a breeze. It feels wonderful. I'm walking to the mailbox to see if there's a new package because we got something that wasn't supposed to be here till tomorrow, but something else has been delivered supposedly, so I don't know. So my tone it up exercise is called for a 15 minute walk after dinner. Well, since I work out before dinner, I decided to go on a 15 minute walk before my tone it up exercises, like work up tone up stuff, like weightlifting. And also I needed to go for a walk because I had some negative energy. So I ordered earlier this week, I, you guys know I've had like the worst luck when it comes to getting packages because I can either get it at my door, I can get it at the leasing office, or I can even get it at our actual mailbox that we have, which kind of can mess things up because they, like, you know, certain companies don't always deliver to the cer a certain thing. But, like my, my birch box, for example. Typically it goes to the leasing office. Well, lately it's been going to the mailbox. And even today I got some, or this week I've gotten some packages from Target in the mailbox and some of them I got delivered to the door. And so I just never know where they're going to end up or where they're going or whatever. Anyway, point being is I ordered two bed rest pillows today. Um, it's been a thing, if you watched my video from last week, um, I talked about when I ordered it. And my, Jared's was supposed to, I ordered that, candles, or two, two pillows and two candles. Um, all at the same time. The Jared's pillow supposedly arrived Tuesday, it did not arrive Tuesday. The candles arrived yesterday. Um, and then my pillow just arrived today and I thought his pillow was going to arrive with my pillow. So I went back online and it literally said it was delivered to the door. Um, you know, not like signed for or anything, just like left at the door. Literally they knocked on the door and left my pillow. Um, and they said that's what they did for Jared's pillow. Well, I was home all day that day. I was sick that day. So I would have heard the door knock. Mind you, they knock. They don't even ring the doorbell. They just knock and go. So, like, there's a huge possibility of me not even hearing them. But, like, it's a huge package. It's a huge pillow. And so I'm frustrated because that meant that someone probably took it or it was delivered to the wrong door. So I contacted them literally as soon as I got my pillow. And I was like, hey, this is the case. And... Instead of expecting, like, sorry, you didn't get the delivery, or maybe it was stolen, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm not going to go that way. That's where the fountains are. Sprinklers just started. Um, they're like, well, it says here that, um, yes, it does say that it was delivered, but there's an estimated delivery for your entire order for tomorrow. So basically, they're telling me that, you know, it should arrive tomorrow, even though it says it was already delivered Tuesday. So I told him, I was like, but the tracking number says it was delivered Tuesday. Like, literally, it says on FedEx, delivered Tuesday. And they're like, well, just wait until tomorrow. And I'm like, literally, everything from my order has been, 
no, nothing arrived when it said it was supposed to arrive. They all arrived early, which is typically would be fine, except for the fact that they're like, oh, it says that it could still arrive tomorrow. I was like, well, the entire order has arrived, so I don't know what to tell you. So, to leave out all the nitty gritty details, um, they basically tell me, hey, just wait until tomorrow, and if it doesn't arrive tomorrow, contact us. So, me and my feisty, passive aggressiveness self, I was like, fine. If it doesn't arrive by midnight tomorrow, I will contact you asking for, asking for a refund. Because at this point, I was like, I found it at Walmart for an even cheaper price. Yay. But I think the reason why I got so upset about the whole thing, other than the fact that I always get upset whenever something doesn't deliver, is, is, has a problem delivered because, like, being delivered, because this complex, I've had such problems with still getting things delivered for stupid little technical reasons, and then it takes, like, three or four more days for me to get it. The one thing I re I'm really upset about is because it's Jared's. Jared's was supposed to arrive before mine, and it did not. And Jared has been waiting for this pillow. We've been talking about this pillow literally since I ordered it, and he has not received it. Better yet, not only did he not receive it, it may look like he may not be getting one for a while, and I got one. When Jared is honestly probably the one person that needs it more than I do, because he studies on the bed more often than I do. So, my passive aggressiveness just spurted out of that. But like, honestly, whenever you have negative energy, and I've tried to do this a lot more often now, you just gotta walk it out. You just gotta take deep breaths and just walk it out, go and do something else. You know, sometimes you just gotta go into a corner, take deep breaths, and re calm yourself down and realize it's not the end of the world. Or going for a walk, especially since it's a beautiful night. Sometimes that's all you need. And I hope that this little ramble adventure has not bored you guys. I hope this has been able to be some sort of life advice for yourself as well, because I already feel better. Not only because I talked about it and I realized that yes, it is kind of a stupid thing to get upset about, but I went for a walk and I'm enjoying this. Well guys, I'm gonna do some of my tone it up exercises, basically weight lifts and I do some leg lifts and some squats. Um, I've discovered that the squats have actually been helping my sciatic nerve. Um, unfortunately, the dancing workouts that I was doing and then even running um, ag agitates it, which is really kind of sad because those are two things that I used to love doing. But um, anyway, I am probably going to make some honey chicken and rice with Jared. Probably edit this video because I'm trying to stay ahead of editing my videos. And I will see you all tomorrow, 8.15, yay!